Hey gang, welcome back. Okay, so we're here in Blackwater. Um, after having, in the last episode, done a whole mess of... Uh, these things, the stranger missions. Um, and there's a whole mess sitting out here left to do still. Um, but I'm going to leave those for now. What I want to get done right now is two things. But the first thing I want to get done is the mission. Because it's kind of blocking the courthouse. And I'm afraid that it's going to start up... Um, after I bring in a bounty or whatever uh, automatically and we just need to get it out of the way so Mr. Ross? 107. 109. Edgar Ross. 113. Upstairs on the right. 114. 115. 116. 117. Mr. Marston, so glad to see you. How was your journey? Where's my wife and son? Being well looked after. Well looked after. I want to see him. Mr. Ross wants to speak with you. We've had some important developments. You want me to take out a gun and blow a fucking hole in your head right here? <clears throat> right now? You want that? Mr. Marston. You want that? Mr. Marston, I ask you to calm down. Why? Why? I did what you asked. I got you Williamson and Escuela. It's over. Stop playing games with me. No one's playing games with you, Mr. Marston. But if we were to play some games, there'd be some interesting ones we could play. Thanks, sir. Like hanging you for murder, or confiscating all your property, like that little farm of yours, or, or having you put in an electric chair. Those are the sort of games we could play. But we choose to play a different game. So calm down and play along with us. Where's my wife? <laughs> you know, I forget, but I hear it's very nice this time of year. <sighs> Mr. Marston, please, I've never insulted your meager intelligence. Do not insult mine. We've done this little deal for your freedom in exchange for all your men from your old gang. You gave us Williamson and Escuela. We still don't have Vanderlyn, but now we know where he is. Then go and shoot him. No, sir. I want you to shoot him for me. And then I'll let you be. The last thing I want to do is make martyrs out of all these people. He could be killed by some petty squab or by another lowlife. <laughs> we believe Vanderlyn just holed up with a group of renegades near the wreck of the Serendipity Riverboat. Ah, <sighs> yes. Another group of renegades. Obviously, the first group, your group, has shall we say, been disbanded? <laughs> disbanded. Anyway, Mr. Ford and Mr. Marston, shall we go? Oh, Mr. Marston, your wife and son are, are doing well. Let's both try to ensure things stay that way. Okay? After you, sir. Oh, Mr. Marston, one more thing. This is for you. You're too kind. See, I have nothing but your best interest at heart. Let's hope it doesn't go off by mistake. <laughs> 343. I, I have a patent for that, sir. This is an outrage. Oh, Mr. Marston. <laughs> You're alive. Hello, Wes Dickens. Thought you were headed to Peking. Um, so did I. So did I. In a long story. But now it seems I'm being put under arrest and charged with narcotic possession or some other such nonsense. Ross, have him release this man. Why? Because he's a harmless old fraud, the kind of man that built this country. And because he helped me get Williamson. Did you hear that, officer? The man's a hero. Let him go. Come on, Marston. Moral degeneracy waits for no man. Let's hurry along. 
Let's see you, West Dickens. Well, that was. Well, this is like the longest cutscene ever. <laughs> it's just. Man. It's been like five minutes now. Alright, Mr. Fordham, onward! High powered pistol. Okay, we'll just. Isn't this something? Lawmakers and lawbreakers working together for the good of civilization. Like you always say, sir, the higher the stakes, the smarter you have to play the game. I can't imagine I ever said anything quite so trite. In any case, I'm not sure Mr. Marston would agree with us. Unfortunately, Mr. Marston isn't broad-minded enough to appreciate the unique opportunity we're offering him. Son of a fool. I want my family. And I'm sure all the men you murdered wanted their families, too. Come now. You're stupid. But you're not that stupid. We both know how this has to be. And it could be all over today. As soon as we find Dutch Vanderlyn, you can go back home and play being a farmer again, or whatever else you've been pretending to do for the last few years. First it was Bill, now it's Dutch. After Dutch, it'll be somebody else. Where does it end? It ends when we say it ends. You're in no position to make demands. Like you will. You don't just walk away from that. Buy a few chickens and make it all disappear. You should be dead or rotting in a jail cell by now. We are giving you a chance at new life. A chance at redemption. You can't erase your past, Mr. Marston. But we can. She's running well, sir. Such an elegant way to travel. What do you think of this automobile, Mr. Marston? Slow. But so convenient and reliable. But are you comfortable? No. You see this, Mr. Fordham? The brooding cowboy. There aren't many of these left, you know. A bit of a cliche, admittedly. But still a dying breed. Like the buffalo. Just as dumb, but not quite as noble. They move most cows by rail these days, I hear. Not where I'm from, they don't. But you aren't from anywhere. A new dawn is breaking, Mr. Marston. This is the age of the machine. And soon, we'll all be living on the moon. Maybe. This is the future. Anything is possible. Finally, this godforsaken land is entering the 20th century. Prosperity has arrived. In the form of assholes like you. I don't understand you people. The trappings of progress are here for the taking, and you're too stubborn to take them. You'd rather live like pigs and break your backs working in a field out of some kind of misguided loyalty to an era that has already been forgotten. Rather than pretending to be something we're not, you mean? It's not far now. The old serendipity wreck has been used as an occasional criminal hideout for years. We were informed that Vanderlyn and his gang are making camp there. We'll stop on the cliff above, and you and Agent Fordham will go on foot. I'll stay with the vehicle and keep watch. Then you'll do as I say, Marston. Don't try anything stupid. Oh, I think he knows what's at stake. Don't you, Mr. Marston? Let's find Dutch and finish this. Must be it right there. Right. Let's go, Mr. Marston. Let's see here. Hang on a second. We'll accompany him in just a damn minute. Um, high-powered pistol. It's pretty good, actually. I gotta say. All right, let's go. I realize we forgot to go over the missions again because that's what I do. Be quiet and stay close. Oh, we'll yes, do that, sir. As soon as we finish Vanderlind this. Vanderlind is the priority. We go in, take him down, and get the hell out of here, quick and clean. You leave Dutch to me. We don't want you getting that suit dirty. If you step out of line, even once, well. I hope you're aware of the consequences. Come on, fool. Let's check out this pistol. 
What are we doing? It's quiet, don't you think? You tell me. Maybe Dutch caught wind of things. An informant better not have been lying to us. Keep your eyes open. They are open. I don't see nothing. It doesn't feel right. This place is usually teeming with low lights. Uh-huh. Did you hear that? Go see what's happening up there. I'll wait here. Okay. I kind of vaguely remember we have to go around this way. There we go. There's the stairs. Gotta go up. Um, how do we do that? Hmm. Let's try the front of the ship, I guess. So it's blocked. Well, I don't seem to be making much progress, do I? Oh, here we go. Oh boy, this is not a trap at all. God, that's her informant. Gnostics, what the hell's going on here? It's a trap. Shit, Marston, you'll have to carry this man. I don't think he can walk. I'll have to carry him? What the hell? Devil! Come on, we Maybe need to get... I should be doing the shooting, and you should be doing the carrying. John, why are you not pointing your gun at him? Please shoot him and get him out of my face. All right, that's not good. Shot my guy. Come on, we're out of here. I'm reasonably sure that is not all of them. Why are why are you not shooting? I'm gonna require that you shoot. Come on, we gotta go. Good lord, this take forever. 
Dude, are you coming or what? Oh, you stay down there and you play with that guy. Come on, John. All right, let's go. Marston, lift this fellow into the back seat. Put him in the car so we can get out of here. Let's go, there might be more of them. All right. Christ alive! What the hell happened down there? There was a trap. They were waiting for us. And who is this savage? A prisoner? This is the informant, sir. Do you speak English? Uh, uh yes he does, sir. He's the informant, Nostis. Don't get snarky with me, Fordham. We found him tied up on the boat. Then they jumped us. Nice of you to help us out. Hell of a plan sending in two men to take on an entire gang of outlaws. Especially when one of them's an office clerk. Or... Social secretary or some son. You shut your mouth! <laughs> An office clerk. <laughs> wow, this is a super long mission. I might, might not get much else done today. I do want to do a, a bounty. Still. That's taking forever. just gave out. Well, fix it, you fool. We need to get this man to a doctor. Of course, sir. It's Dutch's men. Marston, we'll hold them off. Fordham, we'll fix that damn engine. This way. Thanks for the help. I can't see any more of them. Fordham, are we ready? Yes, sir, I think so. Come on, let's get back to Blackwater. Ugh. Damn, that was close. We're lucky to be alive. I'm beginning to see why Mr. Marston here has made it to such a ripe old age. You'll make me blush with all these kind words. So much for this automobile of yours. If this is the future, God help us all. <laughs> it's not the automobile. The bad workman shouldn't blame his tools. Perhaps if Mr. Fordham maneuvered it with a little more finesse... I was trying to escape an ambush, sir. Even if it was running fine, they'd still have caught us. I can walk faster than this piece of crap. Give me a horse any day. <laughs> so what now? Do I get to see my family? Where is Dutch Vanderlyn? I don't know. In that case, old boy, no, you don't get to see your family. It's a fairly simple agreement, Mr. Marston, even for a man as devoid of intellect as yourself. If you'd like me to explain it to you again, I'd be more than willing. No, you've said enough. We'll find Vanderlyn soon enough. If 
For now, however, I suggest we call it a day. So how does it feel, taking a man's wife and child from him? Does it make you feel good? How does it feel to kill hundreds of men in cold blood? You're a coward. You're a murderer. Actions have consequences, Mr. Marston. Come now. Try to look on the bright side. The bright side? There ain't no bright side. Your family is enjoying a much-needed vacation, and in far more luxurious surroundings than those to which they are accustomed, I assure you. Soon you will be able to start a new life together absolved of all your sins. We should take the ending to Professor McDougal, see what he can get out of them. Good idea, sir. I just can't communicate with them. Okay, here we are. Here we are. Thank God for that. So, this is the office of an anthropologist named McDougal. He was thrown out of Yale for a degeneracy. We should tell you something. Indeed, but he's been helping us deal with the natives in this area. They see him and they presume we're all idiot academics. Huh? Give me a hand here, Marston. Ah, Mr. Ross, uh, Mr. Fordham? G good day, G good day. What on earth's going on here? Kid got shot in the leg. <sighs> Beat up pretty good. We'll send a doctor. Now, McDougal? Mm -hmm. <sighs> we need information from this fellow about Dutch Vanderland. Can you see what you can find out for us? Do my best, sir. Make sure you do. <laughs> Professor McDougal has been a good friend of the U.S. government, Mr. Marston, just like you. Why don't you see if you can help him in his study of the native problem in this county? That's a good thing. <laughs> oh my gosh, that took like 20 minutes to do that mission. Hey. Yeah, excuse me. All right, guys, what we're going to do is advance time so that we can get to back to morning and hopefully uh can't go through there i can't go through here um get a bounty done which might be the last thing we do this episode excuse me do you gonna get out of the damn way all right let's pop this open Let's see, it is currently uh, 8.30, that's not good. Um, let's go through our missions from last time. So last time we did an appointed time. So there's the um, stats on that. We also, uh, I also got gold on the great Mexican train robbery, so you can see the stats on that as well. Um, we had done that earlier, but I didn't get the gold yet. So I think that's everything that we'd had done as of last episode. Or the episode before, because last episode we didn't do any missions. So let's go ahead and advance time a couple of times. I'm over here. Okay, should be about 8.30 in the morning at this point. So... No problem. Sorry about this, partner. Here you go. This is the one and only time I'm going to do this for you, so. You are a saint and a scholar. Here's a token of my gratitude. Yeah. Alright guys, as soon as the um, bounty comes down, we're going to go get it. Because um, this is going to run long. Oh my god, there's another mission right in front of the courthouse. Son of a gun. There we go. There it is. Alright. Excuse me, horse. 
Let's see what we got. Moses Lawson. One hundred and two hundred forty dollars. It is me. You're a crux, sir. All right. Let's see where we're going. Over here. All right, let's go get this guy as fast as we can and bring him back. Yeah. I was hoping to do more stuff today, but my mission was severely long. I was going to try to hunt some boar, but I guess we'll have to do that next time. So stay on the lookout, guys, for those broken trees, because that's our next um, landmark for the uh, for the treasure hunter thing. So, ah, this is like the longest, the furthest away from. See, there's a boar right there. I would take him down if we weren't so pressed for time. It says this is the longest one, like the furthest one away from where we have to go and bring them back. Figures. Yeah. Why did you turn that off? We gotta keep following the path. We're not there yet. You gotta watch out. There's a bear in, in these areas too, so don't be attacked by a bear. Horse, get out of the way! Don't go and annoy me! I can't say I'd be happy if I were in your shoes, mister! Turn me loose, here! Yeah? I'm the sword! Can you see nobody? Come on. Let's go. Where's my horse at? Okay, take two. Let's see if the game will not glitch on me this time. Um, I had to reload because the game would not allow me to put him on the horse. And I wasn't going to be able to bring my horse go. Oh, there he is. Let's see. There we go. See, that's all we needed to do. <laughs> he wouldn't allow me to do it, no matter what I did. Um, so, yeah, it was a bit of a problem. All right, we're heading back for... Uh, black water. So let's go. Gosh, dang it. Why, those guys came up fast. Suddenly they were on top of me. Okay, let's get this guy back to Blackwater so we can shut this down. 
hopefully that mission doesn't go off because there's a mission right in front of the courthouse again. <laughs> Pain in the butt. Uh oh, more guys on the way. Where are we going? This is Manzanita. Why are we going through Manzanita? Where are you taking me, map? Uh, Alright, I guess we can go this way. This is not the way we came in. But sure. Whatever, we can discover new areas while we're transporting this dude. Down, horse! God damn! <laughs> the horse decides to rear as I'm trying to shoot people. And I can't shoot while the horse is doing that. They're trying to get me killed. I'm not entirely sure where the horse was going right there. Did we hit a snake? He just suddenly jumped off to one side. For no reason that I could think of. Um, but sure. Okay. Here we go. And uh, let me stress this as much as I can. Do not set off the mission. Yeah, get out of here, fool. Bugging me. Just get away from there. There it is. Okay. It didn't set off the mission. Super. All right. Let's go back home. By home, I mean our hotel room. Yeah, because I know we're going to get long. I have no idea because i got to cut out that whole first part of that bounty that malfunctioned on me. So, um, hopefully we're not too long, but we'll see, I guess. Um, all right. Let's go ahead and save the game here. As soon as all this stuff goes by. Sniper rifle ammo. Alright. Save here. Let's see where we've, we've gotten to. Um, how about this one? Sure. Let's check out our stats. Uh, 72.4, so we went up about a, a percent, something like that. Must have been just a little bit more than a percent. Um, very good. Okay, guys, we're going to stop here. Let me take a minute to thank my patrons. My $5 plus patrons are Michael Hilliard and Mytho Serving. My $3 plus patrons are listed in the description below, along with any links that they've requested that I link to. Please go check that out. Good stuff in there, guys. And then finally, at the end of this episode, you're going to see a list of all my $1 plus patrons. Thank you very much, guys. It is much appreciated. Without your support, this would be a much more difficult endeavor, so I do appreciate the help. Okay, gang, we will stop here, and we will pick this back up in the next episode. So I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks a lot.
Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to comment, like, and subscribe. All these things really help me out. I'd like to say a big thanks to all my patrons whose names are appearing on the screen right now. Thanks a lot guys, I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more great content, consider joining my list of patrons. There's a link on the screen in the bottom left corner. Thanks a lot guys and I'll see you in the next video.